guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be doing some swatches for you guys on the new Jeffree Star collection that just launched on June 24th the collection is still available right now so I will link everything down below for you guys if you guys are new to my channel I just want to say welcome and also please don't forget to subscribe down below I just want to go into the products that he launched really quickly I have everything pulled up on my phone so like I said the launch was on June 24th this collection was called the Sun Summer Chrome Collection and I was able to get my hands on the You Better Work Liquid Lipstick Collection. That was a mouthful. You Better Work Liquid Lipstick Collection. The one I got was 105 and you get eight liquid lipsticks. So I thought that was a really good deal. That's why I picked that one up. And also you can purchase each liquid lipstick separately as well, which are 18. Also launched the Lipstick Vault Collection and this was $195. You got 13 liquid lipsticks in that collection. We also launched two skin frosts as well one in summer snow cone that's this one right here that I got and the other one is crystal ball I actually wanted crystal ball and I ordered the wrong one um, but that's okay because I might go back and order crystal ball um, but he did also come out with three velour lip scrubs as well so I didn't pick up the whole collection just because I felt like I would get more use out of the liquid lipsticks I have said it on my channel before that his formula is amazing and it's one of my favorite favorite liquid lipsticks out there right now um, I did wear one of them Calabasas all day yesterday I had a seven and a half hour work day and it lasted all day it didn't come off it didn't dry up it didn't get flaky nothing like that I mean I didn't feel it really dry on my lips normally if I wear a regular liquid lipstick by probably the fifth hour it starts feeling like a little gritty on my lips and it starts getting really dry and making my lips feel really dry but the Jeffree Star ones I've never had a problem Problem with that I actually really love them so let's get right into how the packaging looks this is the better work velour liquid lipstick collection and you get eight liquid lipsticks in this box so you get butt naked Calabasas Venus flytrap family jewels hunty you better work candy ass and flamboyant I honestly really love the fact that everything came in this really convenient box I am going to leave them in this box just because I like the packaging and it's not cheap packaging at all like it has like a magnetic flap right here and then when you open it up these are the liquid lipsticks inside so there's eight liquid lipsticks here and I will be swatching all eight for you guys today I did want to show you guys the skin frost that I did get this one is in summer snow cone and I wanted to get crystal ball and like I said before I kind of made a mistake and ordered this one I'm not sure how this one is going to look on me I love the packaging so the packaging is like this chromed out packaging it's definitely like a mirror because you can see all the fingerprints on here you can definitely see mines all over here and then it has the Jeffree Star cosmetics and his star logo here um, so opening it up so this is how it looks inside. I'm not sure how this is going to look on my skin tone, but it is really pretty. I just swatched it. Um, so hopefully you guys could see that. Um, it's a really beautiful gold shade. So I really want to see how this swatches on my cheeks. So I already have a little bit on my cheeks already, um, but I am going to take a little bit down the bridge of my nose so you guys can see that. Um, and I just want you guys to see it like in action, basically. So let me get the mirror here. I am just going to highlight a little bit down my nose and like I said I've already done a little bit and then I was thinking to myself wait I should swatch this on camera so I know it's like really funny to like swatch it on top of it but I did put it on my nose already and it's really gold and then I will go on the cheek here and I really do like it so that's his skin frost in summer snow cone and then I wanted to swatch the liquid lipsticks for you guys because basically we know that's what you guys all came for is the liquid lipstick swatches. I'm really excited because like I said, I love Jeffree Star's formula on his liquid lipstick um, and I'm excited to see the new shades. So with that being said, if you guys want to see me swatch each one of these, just keep watching. So the first shade I'm going in with is going to be Butt Naked. Let me out 
good. So butt naked is really, really light for my skin tone. It doesn't really work. Um, I probably would wear it, but I definitely would do a lip liner and kind of like ombre it out um, Just because I feel like that will look a lot better I do feel like if I did a lip liner with this it would really work if I ombre it out but, but wearing it by itself. It's really not a great shade for me um, But it is a beautiful shade and it just swatched on like really nicely It actually feels like freaking butter going on your lips. That's, that's how nice the formula is like I said I don't know what he puts in his liquid lipsticks but I wish everybody would follow in his footsteps and put whatever it is he's putting in his liquid lipsticks I wish they would because this definitely goes on really nicely it feels smooth it doesn't feel like it's drying on lips you don't get like that white line right in the lip there that sometimes you usually do with liquid lipsticks if you wear them for a long period of time you do get that I get those a lot with the Kylie cosmetics ones um, and with my Anastasia ones those are way too drying I don't even wear those anymore moving on to the next shade I'm going to be swatching it's going to be Calabasas so this one is the one that I told you guys that I wore yesterday and it lasted for more than seven and a half hours on my lips we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one that should have been some kind of moment when this started feeling right it's all right yeah it's all right so guys, this is Calabasas. This is definitely one of my favorite shades. I love these type of shades because it is beautiful for the summer. And I feel like it's not really red, but it's a cross between like red and it has like a pink undertone as well. Um, but it's really bright. It's pretty. I love it. Um, it's just so beautiful. Like I think this lipstick would look awesome with like a tan skin tone and even with light skin tones You could definitely pull this off. So this is one of my favorite ones and this one is Calabasas So the next one is going to be my favorite no it's not actually it's not my favorite it's Venus flytrap yeah so we're gonna get to swatching Venus flytrap this looks I look ridiculous it's definitely really fun like I said but I would never wear this never ever wear this in public but if you wear this in public, hey, kudos to you um, because you are brave, more braver than I am because I would never wear this. And it went on a little patchy. It probably looks patchy too. But yeah, it is a really different shade, um, but it's just not for me. I just won't be wearing this shade at all. Okay, guys, so the next shade is going to be Family Jewels. I just love the name of these shades. They're so funny. How do you so this one guys is family jewels and the box was a little deceiving um i know you guys probably can't see just because um it's so far but i don't have autofocus but this box is brown and this shade is definitely um it's definitely brown but it's not as brown i feel like it's brown but i definitely feel like there's like a red brick on the tone to this one and I thought it was gonna be like a true brown from the looks on the box this looks like a true brown I really really love this shade this is like one of my favorite shades and this is definitely a shade that I would wear like all the time um so yeah I really like this it's kind of giving me Kat Von D Lolita that's what it is I'm trying to think and I'm like what does this remind me of and it definitely reminds me of Lolita from Kat Von D it went on really nice smooth wasn't patchy anything like that and um, yeah, I just love the shade. This next shade is going to be Hunty. Guys, I definitely think this shade is another shade I can probably pass on. 
um, I will make it work just because I did purchase it obviously and I think I can make it work with a lip liner and just like I said before just ombre it out a little bit but this is like a really flesh tone shade um, but yeah on its own like this it kind of just washes me out personally um, but it is a really pretty shade but just for me um, yeah it just washes me out but it did swatch on really nice wasn't patchy or anything um, so yeah so this is hunty so the next shade is going to be you better work and I'm super excited to try this one because it's purple and everybody who knows me knows that purple is my favorite color um, so yeah so I'm excited to try this one so we're just gonna go ahead and swatch it I definitely feel like that's the appropriate name for this one so this is definitely giving me like Mac heroin vibes like you know back in the day when everybody bought Mac heroin lipstick that was like the big deal when it came out um, I even bought my sister one of those and um, I used to rock it like every single day like like this like purple vibrant lipstick so it's definitely giving me that vibe oh look and it matches my nails too it's definitely giving me that vibe like that really beautiful purple shade it went on really nice and smooth I love this shade guys like honestly I would definitely wear this shade probably every day it definitely has its own vibe and I really like that he named it you better work we just feel like that really suits this one because this is really gorgeous I love this one so guys, thank God we're down to the last two because that one definitely did stain my lips um, and my lips are starting to burn. Um, but the next one we're going to go in with is going to be Flamboyant. Uh, let me just take it out of its box to show you guys. So this is Flamboyant and we're just going to swatch this one. coral metallic shade I like metallic shades but I'm not crazy about them um, what I wear this yeah I probably would wear this the way I picture wearing this is just like in the summer the daytime i um, wearing a beautiful like really pretty summer dress I don't know that's just the way I picture it um, I'm not crazy about metallics like I said but I definitely would wear this it did go on a little patchy but once I got it on the lips it worked out fine so it wasn't bad like I said this one is more of a neon coral metallic shade so this one is candy ass and this one is like my favorite name in the whole collection like candy ass like I just love it so this one I'm just going to swatch now for you guys and this is going to be the last one I don't think my lips can take anymore after this shade and this one was candy ass it definitely is more of a pink glossy metallic shade um, it went on really smooth really nice like the last one I feel like this is such a beautiful summer shade I feel like that if I'm going to wear something like this it's definitely going to have to be in the daytime like you know with a flirty fun summer dress I don't know that's just the way I'm picturing me wearing the last two shades for some reason just because I feel like they like exude like summer to me this is really pretty though and like I said I'm not really crazy about metallics but I really really like this I actually like it better than candy ass I told you guys before these are definitely one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas out there so if you guys have not tried his liquid lipsticks I definitely suggest you do if you like really quality liquid lipsticks um these are the ones to get um there was only like maybe two that I felt that were a little patchy but other than that the rest of them worked out fine for me so I'm really really glad I picked up the collection because I will get a lot of use out of it the only one I probably won't use is Venus flytrap but that's okay it's a really fun color maybe around Halloween I might use it um, but yeah so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoy the swatches and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well I hope you guys have an awesome day and um, I will see you guys in the next video thanks guys bye, bye.
Thank you.